Our neighbors have a tree that borders on our backyard. We're not sure what kind of tree it is, but over the years it has developed some kind of growth on it. We weren't too concerned until it got bigger and began encroaching our own Crimson King maple. What are these growths and are they harmful? And this is Mike and it's a nice picture with that. Yes, Mike. Uh, those knots look like gall, but they're not. There's actually a disease called black knot mm -hmm. and it mostly affects your fruit trees, your prunus trees. This looks like it could be a cherry tree. I'm hoping that's a good right. guesstimation, but it, it's black knot. Definitely black knot is a common fungal disease of prunus trees. Yes. Right. Is, so it, it, is it harmful? It's, it's is harmful it, to the prunus. Actually, it's not that harmful though, because the tree can actually tolerate the damage, yeah. depending on the health of the tree. Correct. It is. Yeah. Right. So a couple of different things I would do here. I usually tell folks prune it out. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you want to sanitize your pruners right in between those cuts. Sanitize your pruners. Right. Definitely got to do that. Practice good sanitation. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to throw those in the trash or burn them if you can. All right. Second thing is this, resistant varieties. Yes. Right. So look for those, you know, for sure, because there are some resistant varieties out there. Yeah. And then thirdly, for me, if you want to do this, this is going to be a lot of work, fungicides. Yes. Right. So there are a couple that I know you can use, uh, chlorothionyl, which is daconyl, captan, believe captan. it or not. Uh, you can use as well and a copper based fungicide we didn't follow the label but it's going to be multiple multiple applications of using a fungicide yes sometimes it's not practical to, to spend the money on the fungicide when you can just remove the tree and plant a, like you said earlier more resistant variety All right. yeah so i'll probably go that route that's what i would variety. do too <laughs> right yeah I, i'm i'm one that kind of wants to stay away from the chemicals okay yeah yeah, and as far as affecting your maple tree, no, it's not going to affect your maple tree. No. It uh, just only attacks trees that are in the prunus family. Yes. Right, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We hope you loved the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.